Hi, this is Squatch Mom, aka Dana, and we are near Woodland Park having a hike, and apparently so is the rest of the world, because there's a lot of people out here enjoying this beautiful day. So, Sam and Caspian are here now, and um, actually Caspian is now officially a year old. His birthday was yesterday. So, anyway, this is one of our favorite spots near Woodland Park, and we are going to a place we saw last time we were here that has a stream. In fact, it's kind of funny, the last time we were on this trail, it got dark, and we were coming back, and I looked to my left, and there's a full moon, and I think, hmm, that's kind of eerie. And then a few minutes later, we heard this really strange sounding howl with some kind of dog. And then a few minutes later after that, we heard some coyotes in the distance and I kind of lost it. And Sam was laughing at me. He's like, what'd you say? Calm down or something. I forget, but it was funny. But then, of course, he tells me that Bigfoot often actually vocalizes while such things as coyotes are vocalizing too. That gave me a lot of comfort, that's for sure. So anyway, we're back, but it's in the safety of daytime. But hey, who knows? Maybe we'll stay till it gets dark. I don't know what we'll do. All right, I will catch you later. We will see what we see. Okay, so here we are, this spot that we came to last time. I'll just walk a little bit because I've demonstrated that I cannot walk, talk, and operate a camera at the same time. <laughs> but we were going on this part that we came to last time we were here and Sam was just saying that I should watch the woods because you never know when one of the swatches are watching us and yes Caspian is having a fit <sighs> anyway he likes to be in front. What are you trying to do? <sighs> so, don't get down here. <laughs> Sam is apparently having a lot of problems. Now, yeah, I'm not going to film the whole way down because I'm rather good too good at falling, but I do see something very interesting in the tree I want to get. <sighs> so, let's see. You see that tree that's just kind of up there? Where did that come from? It's interesting. The branch. I don't know where that came from. That's peculiar in my mind. And, eh, maybe a little bow. But anyway, down there is the creek I was talking about. So that's where we're going to head. And we're going to head down that trail. Okay, so we just came down that path. That, to me, looks like a very squatchy area. Last time we were here, it was almost dark. And it was a little bit daunting to me. But we're trying to decide if we're going to go left or right. Okay, here we are down at the creek. We're going to be crossing. We came left where we were before. It's really pretty. That's so pretty. Wow. It's so much fun being out in the woods, especially after stressful, very busy week, although a very accomplished week. But So are we going to go left or right? We're going to go right. All right. So here we are. This forest looks, as Sam says, pretty squatchy. We came down there. Let me go back on my field some more, but all those woods do seem to have a lot of potential. But next time we come, maybe we go through those woods. So we'll see what we can see. Okay, so we came to the creek kind of bushwhacked a little bit through here over and under some branches let's see the trails up there so <laughs> Caspian is having a fantastic time I'm not sure I'm gonna go over that log that's what Sam did 
but we just might go sit on the log in here for a little while. But this area definitely has more possibilities than on the trail for finding anything or hearing anything. So we'll see what we can see. We're going by this tree. Sam says, oh, that looks creepy. <laughs> Bark on the tree. But <sighs> we're going this way looking for a log. Oh, it sure is foresty. And the great thing is there's not as many people around. As I'll tell you, the parking lot was full. <sighs> see what we can see. All right, we actually had to sit on some moss and it has some interesting holes. I don't know from gophers or snakes, but we're just gonna hang out here and see what we can hear or see. Oh, and the dog, you could tell he had a lot of fun in that creek. It was very muddy, <sighs> but it's much cool and very quiet I like that. We will see what we see. All right, we've had our rest and huh, the dog is very bored and he's been digging again. So I'm not sure where we're gonna head. We haven't decided, maybe we might go that way for a little bit. Depends on how long I can last. So we will see what we see. Okay, we climbed up the hill a little bit and we found this. Sam, would you just shake on it a little bit like you did before? And this branch appears to be relocated. There is no, let's see. Oh, dog's all tangled up. Doesn't look like it went in there. And see, I moved to your, move a little bit away. See, it's wedged in that tree, that aspen tree. And then, is whoa what another one and then it goes down there and then almost looks like there's another tree up there branch or something that's just placed there you're saying that was relocated too just stuck in the ground, just stuck in the ground. i don't want to lose my know. footing So that's just placed there, loose. But look, Sam, underneath this log, which I assume, underneath this dead tree, which I assumed is dead fall right there, is this, eh, that looks like it might be rooted in there. I don't know, but that's interesting. It's falling across there, but this whole area, has some interesting deadfall. Oh, look. Up here. <clears throat> oh, you want to stuck him? <laughs> um, okay. Hang on while we get situated here. We have, it was uh, Caspian's birthday yesterday, so we got him a new leash, because the first one he chewed through it. Okay, so up here, of course there's something right there. I don't know if it's in the ground or not, Sam. You might want to check. Oh, is that one, one, two? Oh, look. But I'm getting the dog stuck. I need to lock it. I did. No, you didn't. Oh, it is. This is not close enough. All right, why don't you take him? So there's that. What's the base of that one? Whoops. <laughs> he didn't mean to do a wood knock. Is it just there? I don't know if there's a root or not. Oh no. We get to the bottom of it. Kind of funny, while we were sitting down, I accidentally let out a whoop. Don't know. 
Yeah, he gets stuck a lot. Huh, interesting. There's all sorts of interesting things around here. That one, is that one rooted in that place? Huh. Not really. No? <sighs> this is why we went off the trail a bit, because you can't see anything. Whoa. Interesting. Although I don't know what that is. Right there. <sighs> Interesting like in a very subtle X. Uh, keep losing it. Where is it? There. Very interesting. What do you think, Sam? Mm. I mean, it's not as obvious as other things we've seen. There's obviously a lot of deadfall in here. Now, there was something over here that was interesting. Careful, I don't fall like I did in one of my other videos. That was really fun. Dog, don't trip me. <sighs> it's always an adventure. Being a <clears throat> year old woman doing this. But hey, why not? It motivates me. So, oh, I was heading over there. There's this little, uh, trail here, Sam. That. I don't know if I can see it from here. It almost looks like a bowed tree. Let's just see. There, that's where I was going to go. There's a big old tree rooted out. But You're gonna lamp a tree? Oh, he's gonna do a tree nug. Oh, okay. <laughs> um. <sighs> this is interesting. <sighs> wow. I don't know if these are rooted in here. Here's the ends. That one. Here's the end of that one. Huh. Huh. Oh, what? Oh, what? oh, really? What kind of feather is that? Mm -hmm. Oh. I'm fix that. Huh. Must be a big goose feather. Oh. Anyway. <laughs> I don't know. Interesting. Who knows what's up there? We're probably not going to go that far. Because it's getting to be late and we don't want to get lost. So, that is some interesting little finds like a playground. My question is, how did that tree go that way? Wow. Oh, he's going to do a tree knock. No response. He's going to do one more. All right.
right. So what are we gonna do? Head back down? We will see what we do next. This is telling me this place has at least manipulations. Like it's been manipulated. It's a valley. What? These are manipulations. Huh? These are manipulations. Yeah, these seem to be manipulations. It's a valley. There's not much people around. Seems pretty squatchy. <laughs> it's pretty squatch-tastic. Okay, well, we'll see what we can see. No idea. Not often at all. Okay, Sam's and gonna do the screen. Really good. Cause it feels really good here. Ah! <laughs> the dog out. <laughs> He's concerned. Apparently the dog is listening too. <laughs> you gonna do any more? No. Okay, well, what really concerns me is when we go back. Ooh. There's was possibly a bow tree. We've come this way. <sighs> I'm not sure Sam has ever felt like a place is so squatchy, have you? Mm. Very interesting. Okay, we found more manipulations. I'm gonna walk over here <clears throat> and show the break. Oh, if I don't trip over all the branches on the ground. And the dog is very attentive to something. He has been for a little bit. Huh. Is that a twist or just a straight break? It's a straight one, so who knows? Yeah. He's going to the other side to look. Well. Right at the trail, too. Oh, interesting. It's pointing right at the little trail. You never know if a sniper's up there. Is that what you call him? Gotcha. He's looking at something. I don't think I've got him anyway. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Come on. He's like, why aren't you coming? Pretty squatch-tastic. Okay, so we're coming this way and we see two bowed trees. Now, isn't that interesting? Pointing in the same direction. Getting over there, again, without falling. <gasps> I have fallen way too much lately. You think that's up? Maybe. If I get over through these trees, I can show these closer. Ah. Okay, so that was manipulated. And then there's a bow there. And then same direction 
There's a bow here. And who knows what all is over there. <sighs> kind of have to get up close and to examine it to see if anything's been moved. What time is it? About 5.30 or, or later? So, <laughs> it's a pretty prime time. Ooh, you know, a year ago, I would have been really freaked out, wouldn't I? Sam said a little while ago, this feels like a real Bigfoot expedition. <laughs> I must say I like being over here in the woods rather than on the trail. And I see something really interesting ahead. <sighs> Just as long as we don't get lost. But we know the creek is to our right, so we should be fine. saw before. Hmm. I don't know this thing. That's the thing. You can't say everything's a Bigfoot. That's it's to be ludicrous. <sighs> but this place definitely has possibilities. And maybe Sam's spidey sense is coming out. <gasps> oh man, who knows what's up there, huh? Of course, could be bears. But we don't have to go far to see bears, do we? <laughs> There's a bear that's after our neighbor's honey. Onward we go. Ow. <laughs> See over there is where the trail is. Oh, sure is pretty. the hill because it was too difficult, too steep. But we found this at the bottom of the hill. After we were flying leash puzzle. So what do you think, Sam? Oh, there's a plain ball. There's a what? Some plain needle on the ball. They're not growing there? Or? I guess they're, they are growing there. Oh, well, it's an interesting blind. What are the ends like? I mean, huh? Nothing cut. Huh? Nothing cut. Nothing cut. Nothing's too terribly big, but. Blind. Yeah. What are they saying over here? <sighs> Very 
interesting. What do you think about these compared to the ones we saw at Colorado Trail a couple of weeks ago? I can't really remember much of that right now. Oh. Uh, mm -hmm. Sure. Mm -hmm. I lost a blue jay feather. Oh no, yeah, I found a blue jay feather and I guess he lost it. I can't put them in my pocket. That's mm -hmm. very interesting. Oh, and over here, I lost it again. Um, Where did I see that, Sam? Oh, it's over here. We were going to sit down at this log. And as I fall... Trip. Anyway, there's a tree bell over there. And then I happen to see that teepee structure. I don't know. Oh, and just a few minutes ago, Sam thought he heard a loud or a high pitch squeal, yell, kind of squeal. Maybe over the next ridge. I don't know. Anyway, I don't know about him, but I'm going to have to rest my feet before we go back down. Oh, that's what we found. So we're sitting on this log and we see what might be a snap. I don't know. I don't think either one of us want to go up there again because we're tired. <laughs> but another interesting find. And it is definitely getting dark. So... Yeah, I wonder if we'll run into some more coyotes. You want me to say something? What? So just a few seconds ago, or a minute ago, Sam and I heard what could have been whoops. I heard them twice. What is it like? Yeah? I just thought it was a dog until you... I swear it sounded like a... <clears throat> those were not whoops. What? I did not. Those were not whoops. Of course, now that we have the camera on, we won't hear it. I just heard a dog bark. sneak out of here. Yes, we can. Okay, you're not scaring me or anything. Mm. I mean, just see if we can hear anything. Okay. All right, we will hear what we hear. We will see what we hear or something like that. Okay, we're back on the main trail. And this is where we were 
up there a little ways. Ooh, and you can see a star coming out. But whew, I'm out of breath coming up the hill here. But um, yeah, that's one of the most squatchy places we've ever been. It was pretty awesome. And then there's a gorgeous sunset up ahead. So we will see if we hear or see anything on our way back to the car. Thankfully it's all downhill. I'm so glad. Okay, so we're here at the creek. It was kind of freaky. Um, I was freaked out last time and here we've heard all these interesting whoops and stuff. Monkey noises. Yeah, monkey noises as Sam says. So, and it's way darker from the last time we came here. Oh, that's right. Travis was here before. Your dad was here. What are you doing? And the dog is going crazy. So, yeah, these, this part to me was the squatchiest. <laughs> I know I thought I was freaked out last time. Okay, yeah, as we were talking about before, this is the first time I've ever done one at night. Good thing I got a new iPhone 11. Whew. But this part is pretty squatchy. Next time I think we should go down that trail. This was quite an adventure and we still have, what, a mile to go till we get to our car? Oh, this side down there freaked me out. <laughs> okay, so I wasn't recording. I didn't know it, but we saw another blind. Here I am going into the woods. I'm crazy. Where was it, Sam? Oh! We didn't even see that before. Shine your light on it. Oh. Shine your light. I don't know if that's a manipulation. Can't tell. Boy, you can tell it's October. My hands are cold. We were just saying that the lead expedition is Caspian. He's the Scotch meter. He's the Scotch meter. Because if he detects something, we're, we know something's up. But that was the squatchiest thing. Those are really squatchy woods. And in the dark. And hearing monkey noises and seeing, <laughs> seeing structures. Whew. Pretty freaky. I don't know if I was recording in the squatchiest part of that. You know, if I wasn't, that means we have to go back. <laughs> Is that a dog? Maybe. I heard it, but I don't know. Yeah. It's a dog. I just heard like monkey like noises in this area. Ooh. And we're going by it. I'm not sure I've ever been in the, the woods this late. Right, but it's fall, so the sun's setting earlier. Oh, I forgot I have a flashlight in my pocket. Alright, oh, there's nothing to see anyway. Hold on one second. Alright, I'm gonna get to the top of here. Yeah, we hear a dog. Yeah, right. Alright, well, we'll see what else. Well, we're getting close to 
getting to the car, but I'm gonna trip over the dog leash, but this is a mite squatchy. Here, over here through this aspen grove. <laughs> Woo! I think this is the latest I've ever hiked in these woods, or any woods for that matter. <sighs> As Sam mimicked, I do believe there's a squat in these woods. Is that what she said? <laughs> Wild. So, we're almost to the car, but shine the flashlight over there. But we, I don't know if you can see it but we saw eyes below the ground and it's two looks like does I can't tell from here can you let's see I think I got one but it kind of freaked us out to see eyes shine but it was really low to the ground so I was like oh that's a doe they were lying down <sighs> okay <laughs> that was one of the biggest adventures we've had and it's I don't know what time it is. It's what, 7.30 or 8? I don't know, but boy, one thing, the stores are sure beautiful, but we had quite an adventure. We're very close to the car. Are you gonna do a last wood knock or not? Oof. Oh, we have a dog. Um. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. he's always in the way. Okay, he's gonna do a wood knock. I don't know if you can see this or not. It wasn't very loud, but... All right, so that was our adventure today. Um, here, shine it my way, Sam. So, <gasps> that was a pretty crazy one. Pretty exciting. Probably the family is wondering where we are. <laughs> we had a great time. So, here, should I know? <laughs> this is Squatch Mom. Have a Squatch-tastic day. <laughs>